Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been following these, you know I'm speaking to Scrumbly Coldwin, uh, the the one of the founding members, one of the original players of the Coquettes. And if you've been following this, you realized that they are an historic part of the underground movement. And I'm thrilled that they're going to be at the public theater, Joe's Pub, September 9, here in New York City. Can't wait. Now, um, uh, uh, a name came up in our last interview, and it raised my eyebrows a little bit. John Waters and Divine. Scrumbly, how did they get involved? It's it's a perfect match, needless to say, but how did they get involved? Well, we uh, our audience was the first one to really catapult John Waters' early films that starred Divine into, uh, into fame. Uh, because we had such a huge audience gathered uh, to watch the Cockettes and the movies that would be shown there. The combination was unbeatable. So uh, I guess multiple maniacs and uh, I can't remember the other one right now, um, where, where Divine was a giant lobster or something. Uh, Not Pink Flamingo. No, it was too early for that. All right, right, you're right. But, and the Diane Linklater story. Oh, okay. uh, when they came, uh, when they showed those films, the audience went crazy. He said, "Who? Where has John Waters been? What is going on?" So um, they flew Divine and John Waters out here, or they they got themselves out here, and did did more. And you know, we were already fans of Divine, so because of those movies, so we met her at the airport through a big to do, and. Uh, John Waters came out, he had written a piece for Divine to do on stage before the shows, when Divine came out on stage pushing a, a grocery cart full of fish, which she flung at the audience. And, uh, you know, and John was such an amazing writer and he used to write these little uh, monologues for, for uh, Divine to do. So uh, that was how they first got involved. We, and then we had Divine, uh, do a part in uh, Journey to the Center of Uranus, where she played the crab on Uranus. You'll be hearing that that song in the, in the review. And, um, and then we did uh, just a just barely post Coquettes with a lot of the Coquettes in it called Vice Palace and it was a vehicle for Divine, specially written. And uh, that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So. Uh, John was was around at the time I really knew Divine a little better because of actually wor physically working with him. Uh, but I did get to know John and uh, continue to be friends with him to today. Wow, that's great. Oh, that's great. Uh, Mr. Waters, I am putting a seat next to me in the public theater in Joe's pub on September 9. I hope you'll join me in celebrating these people that celebrated you way back when. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely thrilled to be speaking to, to Scrumbly about the Coquettes.